Hi everybody and welcome to this dose of Dr. E and Dr. P. So today we're talking about uh, a very important topic, glucagon. And teaser alert, we're going to get into mini dosing glucagon at the end of this little you know, dose because that's such a hot kind of cool area. So real quick, what is glucagon? It's a hormone that comes from the pancreas and it does literally the opposite of what insulin does. We all know that insulin brings your blood sugars down. Guess what? Glucagon raises your blood sugar. And for people with both type 1 and type 2, when we go low, we just don't make enough of it. So it makes us really vulnerable to having severe low blood sugar reactions. Yeah, it's an important hormone and it's dysregulated in people with diabetes. For all of you normal folks out there, thank you for watching our diabetes <laughs> dose. It's very important in keeping your blood sugars in a very tight, normal range throughout the day and night. So let's jump into kind of what products we've had through the years and where we are now in terms of glucagon. Now, glucagon's always been used as a, a rescue medication when someone's having a severe low. They've passed out, they're having a seizure, they're in a place that they, they can't eat carbs, it wouldn't be safe to you know, give them carbs. So we've had forever, um, you know, it's made by Lily. This I call the, this red suitcase. You know, they they have on. one by Novo too, mm -hmm. the red suitcase. And you know, everybody with diabetes has probably had this in their fridge or somewhere, you know, tucked away where you forget it is, where it is. But it, God bless it that we had it for decades, but man, it just wasn't that easy to use. So it's probably a little hard to see, but the glucagon is in a little tiny vial in a powder here. And the reason it's in a powder is they couldn't figure out how to make it stable in like a liquid formulation for the longest time. So God forbid if Steve had a seizure right now, I'd have to go find this probably in the back of the fridge. Um, you have to inject all this liquid into the vial, shake it up, pull back the stuff into the syringe and then inject it. And yeah, don't forget, he's a doctor. Yeah. He's used to needles. Exactly. He's a person with diabetes. But typically it's your loved one or mm -hmm. a coworker and they're not medically oriented and they got to do this whole procedure. And when you're having a seizure from a super low blood sugar, time is of the essence. Yeah. So this, I mean, like I said, God bless it, but it's difficult to use. All kinds of stories of people using it wrong, just injecting it like <laughs> this, which would yep. have nothing in it or like all kinds of ways of messing this up. So we needed a better glucagon, to be honest. And it's only been the last handful of years that we finally got that. So do you want to talk about the Gvoke yeah. pen? Yeah. Um, this is the Gvoke Hypo pen. Uh, the company called Xeris made glucagon stable in solution. This is a practice one, not real. This is what it takes to give it. You pull off the tip and you give it and it tells you when you're done. Kind of like a ep EpiPen. And it works extremely well. You don't get the rebound. It has a, a half-life, meaning that it doesn't expire for at least a year. This older stuff is half a year, or this could be and two years. And you can't do through it your clothes like that, right? You just saw me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, absolutely, when you're low, don't worry about not going through yeah. the clothes. But how much easier is that compared to like all this? I mean, like it's just night and day. You don't see the needle. And yeah, importantly, it lasts for two years yeah. at room temperature. So you're not constantly throwing away these that would expire after six months. The other uh, kind of newer glucagon we have is something called Maximi, which is a nasal glucagon. Somebody passes out, they don't have to like sniff it or inhale it, you just put it in their nose hey. like that. <laughs> and well, you get it in their nose. Um, and you know, it gets absorbed and raises their blood sugar really quickly. So at the end of the day, you have two kind of new options for a rescue glucagon and you should teach your loved ones how to use this. This really isn't necessarily for you to be using. It's, hey, roommate, brother, sister, mother, whatever. This is where my glucagon is. This is how to use it in the case I have a bad low. Yeah. So. Well, let me just say, add real quickly. Yeah. Um, this glucose, this glucagon that comes in a, in a pen, Epi-like pen, it's also available in what they call the Gvoke kit, where this is the glucagon, stable in solution, it comes with a needle, and you're supposed to give the whole one milligram for adults, half a milligram for kids. You suck it up and you give it. Now, this is a formulation that you can get now at your pharmacy, mm -hmm. which leads to the future. Yeah. And what is totally off-label, not promoted by any company, including Xeris, but us type ones, we're smart, we're, you know, we're creative, we're trying to think of better ways to control our diabetes. Take it from here. Yeah, so the idea here is rescue glucagon, severe low. But now we're thinking, well, gosh, 
What about when I'm just trending a little bit low? Maybe I'm sleeping and I'm you know, waking up with a low. I don't wanna eat all that food or drink all that juice. Could I take just a small dose to bring me back up? And that's what people have started doing research in and experimenting in. So you can get this kit and they've studied now that you can get an actual insulin syringe, draw up two or three units to treat kind of a mild low. This is what we're calling mini dose glucagon. Again, it's not FDA approved yet, but a lot of people are kind of experimenting with this, including Steve and myself. I now have one of these by my, my bed that I filled up with a couple units. So I roll over and give myself a dose. It does sting. We talked about this. You didn't notice the sting, but it stings a little bit when you give it. But then it brings your blood sugars up quickly. Less calories, less, you know. Because yeah. you get out of bed, you're going to eat everything in sight. So this is a way that you can avoid that. And the other main area that people are using this for is before what? Exercise. Yeah. And so same kind of thing, drawing up a couple units before you do your Peloton or whatever you like to do can help prevent a low without consuming all these calories. Because let's face it, most of us are exercising to try to, you know, be fit, lose weight, you know, not eat calories. Nothing worse than being on a Peloton eating peanut butter. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, we have a very good friend, very famous diabetes researcher, Michael Rydell from Canada. Mm -hmm. He did a very formal study and he gave people with type 1 three units of glucagon before they did an exact amount of exercise compared to the, the placebo group. And he reduced exercise-induced hypoglycemia. Mm -hmm. And it might be a, a method of the future because, you know, us type ones, when we exercise, it's always a hassle, yeah. either too low or too high. So all these things are available now. Again, the mini dose is not officially FDA approved. We want you to kind of be aware of it um, because there's a lot going on in the world of glucagon. So hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for doing this, buddy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll see you later. Okay.